Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is September 4th, 2017. We have AR2677 that is now facing Earth along with the humongous 2674 and then 2673 and then of course we have 2675 and 2676 exiting the sun's view right now. But the fast growing sunspot AR2673 has a beta gamma magnetic field that harbors energy for M-class solar flares. KP indices were at 2, the 24-hour max was at 4. And looking at the SDO, we don't see any large coronal holes at this time. There is one south of the equatorial region, but that's about it. Everything else is pretty quiet as far as when it comes to coronal holes. And then quickly, I wanted to touch base real fast on this sunspot here. On Saturday, September 2nd, AR2673 was a speck largely ignored by forecasters. On Sunday, September 3rd, it went into a furious transformation. AR2673 expanded more than 10 times the size in one day suddenly become one of the largest sunspots of the year any such explosion today would be geo effective geo effective is basically in the upper atmosphere affecting uh, radio communication satellites things of that nature gps as well and taking a quick look at our storm coverage on irene mari Thank you, Jake. Latest models reveal Irma could be on track to hit Florida. The latest models show that Hurricane Irma could head towards Florida before hitting the state or somewhere else along the United States coast. NOAA, based in Miami, has told Americans along the hurricane-prone parts of the coast to get an escape plan in place. But the latest update from the NHC says it's too early to determine what direct impacts Irma might have on the continental United States. Nevertheless, most of the recent HSC maps show that tropical storm force winds could reach Miami on Florida's southeastern tip in five days' time. The storm track reveals that Hurricane Irma could be near Manati in Cuba by September 9th. This is less than 600 kilometers away from Florida. That's about 370 miles. The NHC said that Irma is expected to bring dangerous wind, storm surge, rip currents, and downpours to the northeastern Leeward Islands in a couple days. But the long range spaghetti models are showing a widespread of possible tracks because there is still uncertainty over where Irma will go next. Meteorologists said the latest GEFS model system continued to trend west with many solutions over South Florida and in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. He said there was a similar track of the ECMWF adding South Florida should closely monitor the progress of Hurricane Irma. It is not yet known where and when Hurricane Irma might strike the U.S. coast next week. It could also recurve back out to the sea. Let's hope so. The Weather Channel said, for now, all residents along the East Coast and the Gulf Coast should monitor the progress of Irma. Locations from Florida Florida to the southeast U.S. have the potential to see impacts from Irma first, but that is subject to change. AccuWeather lead long-range meteorologist Peter Pastelek says Irma is a serious threat for the Caribbean islands and the United States. The NHC said hurricane watches have been issued for pats of the Leeward Islands with more hurricane or tropical storm watchings or warnings on their way. Hurricane watches are in effect for the following regions. 